So, you were just told that your PSA blood test is elevated. You're scared. What next? I'm Dr. Steve Tucker. I'm a medical oncologist. And in this video, we're gonna talk about why MRI screening may be the future of prostate cancer screening. MRI has been around for more than 20 or 30 years, but we are increasingly using this technology to screen every part of the body. Whether it's screening for prostate cancer, screening the breast, or screening the whole body, the MRI is a non-radiation-based imaging technique that allows us to see in the body not just the size and shape, but with new software, with generative AI, with new technologies, we can use the MRI machine to learn more and more about our body. So today, if you've had a PSA test and it's elevated, you're likely gonna be recommended to get an MRI of the prostate. And that MRI is easily done. It might take about 45 to 75 minutes. Sometimes we use contrast to get a better picture, but sometimes we don't even need contrast to get consistent, good images of what a man's prostate looks like. So what might a prostate look like on an MRI? It looks like a bunch of black and white dots. You can see shapes. You can see the outlines of the prostate. You can see the outlines of what's called the seminal vesicles on the side. And of course, the bladder and the rectum and the lymph nodes and all the nerves that run through it. But what we're looking for are certain sizes and shapes in the prostate that may be sinister. And we all have abnormalities on the inside. Think of it as a cyst, almost like acne. A little could be a grape or a pea, something very small that maybe or maybe not should be there. It might have been there for 20 years. It might be brand new. Using the MRI, we can begin to identify whether or not the characteristics on the picture are friendly or dangerous. There's a whole system called PIRADS, P-I-R-A-D-S, and it, it, the scale from one to five tells us the likelihood that there may be a pre-existing cancer. So with this MRI, we can reduce unnecessary biopsies. Just because the PSA blood test went up doesn't mean there's a prostate cancer. It could be infection, inflammation, age-related changes in the prostate. And with a good picture from an MRI, we can all relax and say, hey, this is just an age-related change in the prostate or a benign nodule. On the other hand, we could hear a report that says it's a PIRADS 4 or 5, which would be a higher likelihood, but by no way a diagnosis or guarantee that prostate cancer is on the inside. Those kinds of scores we would either follow closely or recommend a prostate biopsy, which we'll talk about in another video on another day. But let me emphasize, PSA alone is a decent but older way of screening for prostate cancer. Absolutely the future of screening for prostate cancer is MRI plus PSA or other blood tests. And when we combine this with germline or inherited DNA from high-risk individuals, now we might talk about MRI screening on a regular basis, the way we use mammograms in women over 50. If you're a high-risk man, and who would that be? If your father had prostate cancer at a young age or a first-degree relative, if someone died from prostate cancer at a relatively younger age, those may be all reasons that you're higher risk than average, and you should talk to your doctor about PSA screening and the pros and cons of when to start MRI screening. Let me emphasize, MRI screening is not currently the gold standard, but it is an, a second step when a PSA is abnormal. But for those individuals with elevated risk, do talk to your doctors about the role of MRI. It improves accuracy of our diagnostic procedures, reduces unnecessary biopsies, and most importantly, it helps reduce the overdiagnosis of low-grade, non-threatening prostate cancers that create so much anxiety but are never destined to be lethal. So again, I'm Dr. Steve Tucker, a medical oncologist. Please subscribe to our channel. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. Thank you.